so another update so i spent some time at the printing center and lord a quick aside these folks is trying to take your money uh i had to insert my card to um to log into the computer which is fine whatever i've done that before but they were like, yeah, you have to pick a specific amount. So I just went with the lowest $5. I said, I'll be in, I'll be out three minutes tops. $5 for five minutes. It took two minutes for that computer to boot up. Then by the time I got to actually pulling up the, the outline, I was like, yeah, this loud, annoying beeping went off. And they're like, yeah, you have no more money. Sir, y'all ate up two of my men, but whatever. Um, homeboy at the... Um, at the at the counter helped me out so i have my outline out i got the physical copy with me right here so um i i met the deadline i surpassed the deadline i was able to outline everything printed out the copy of the outline and so now it is late it is well into 11 o'clock tonight this is sunday and so i want to start writing tomorrow but what i think i'm going to do is um kind of read through this outline on this like in hand physically in hand i have a couple highlighters and i've marked off different um characters who i need to like track where they are so essentially i'm going through and i've opened up a document where i'm just going to copy and paste everything that i have for the first like little section, maybe like the first chapter, the first point of view, and just parse it out. So even though, <clears throat> excuse me, even though I'm technically writing, but I'm not writing because my focus is not to write the story, it's to put all the pieces in the order that makes sense. Because my outline has everything start to finish, but some of the portions of the outline have something like, uh, they go to the mall, you know, buy their shoes, we see such and such, and then this picks up with the B plot. And so, though in my mind I know how everything flows, I just need to untangle this mess. Everything is where it should be, but it's just in a weird order. Um, another thing is, I'm so proud of myself. So I was, when I was coming up with the outline, there is a particular character who has a role Oh, how do I say this? I'm pretty much there in the second book. And they pop in here for a minute, like, you know, hey, what's up? And the conversation that occurred to me made absolutely perfect sense when I was writing. When I was in the mood, I was in the heat of the moment, just typing at these keys. But then once I got a couple plot points down in the outline, I was like, this makes absolutely no sense. Like, if you're going to have this person do these things why would that occur in this first book where they aren't part of the central focus and so because i am writing with the ending in mind and i know the ending of the entire series and i know the ending of these first two books i am able to better catch things like that. Cause I think before, if, if that had have happened, I maybe would not have been so, would not have caught it so quickly, but because I know that some stuff is coming, I there's, I just, it was just too soon for that person. So I flipped some things around, I switched some stuff up, um, moved around some characters. And so the end result that I have, chef's kiss, it should have been that to, to the begin with. Like, what was I thinking? Get, turn this thing on turn it on no <laughs> too much dip on your chip and so um, i'm happy with that uh so yeah so now i'm going to just get into this and so with it being so late i am not tired um but i know i have to be at the pyramid in the morning so i don't want to be up too late because i mess around and go to sleep an hour before i'm supposed to get up <laughs> I have done that in the past. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to um, dive into this this book and start marking up this um, uh, this outline and 
you know, making it make sense. So, uh, hopefully, oh, this is the other thing. Cause I think these videos are helping me stay accountable, even though I'm excited and I want to get it done. It's like, no, you, you're, you're, you're putting these out. You need to stick to the guns. So I said Sunday by midnight, I wanted to be done with the outline done with that. I said, I wanted to, um, start writing Monday and I was going to give myself two weeks, two Fridays, the Friday coming up and the Friday after now with writing because of where I am like in time because it is so late and me having to be at the pyramid and do that for God knows how long I'm not changing my, um, my my deadline and my plan i do plan to start writing monday but <clears throat> if i'm being completely honest i'm probably going to try to get something in tonight because i don't know if i'll be able to devote the time that i need to this come monday because i do have a lot of other stuff to do like errands just regular adulting stuff cleaning cook all that good stuff and so i'm being realistic with my goal and I do want to start Monday, but I think if I can get through <clears throat> at least the first couple um, plot points and conversations that I have written down, if I can get through some of them, I might technically call this my Monday. Um, Cause yeah, by the time I'm done writing it, probably I'll, we'll probably be into Monday. But this little portion is just for me to like hold myself accountable. So that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. Um, I'll check back in if something changes or if you know I need to do an update. But um, yeah, wrapping up outlining and technically day one for starting the uh, book one. So <sighs> there, um, there was a moment last night when I was writing that uh, beginning of the book and with all my planning and all my plotting and all of my discovering which neighborhoods are where who's doing what and this and that I realized or in that moment I was like at a loss for how to even start this book mind you with so many pieces of this book are fully drafted out from conversations to directions who did what, where, when, and why. Like all of that is done. But it was the beginning. And I, again, I'm being kinder to myself. And I also know that the beginning can be shit. The whole book can be shit. And it'll just be edited and made to be better. Turn shit into diamonds. <laughs> and so. It got to me like for a fraction of a second. I was like, okay, something is wrong. And I think a lot of what my issue was is that I had sat at that computer for so long, putting things in place for completing that out. Like I just needed time away from it. Um, now I didn't take as much time as I probably should have. <laughs> Cause I went to immediately go in and, um, and write. Now I am not, 100% happy with the opening that I ended up with. I did that through dictation. And we know that dictation is now, it's in my arsenal. Um, and so with that, I'm not completely unhappy either. With that dictation and sitting with that opening, I discovered some things about this character that I didn't know before like some things just kind of just came out and some stuff may be altered and changed but i'm thinking that a bulk of that i will keep it just needs to be cleaned up again books are made in editing they're not made in writing you write them you're just getting your thoughts down organizing them but when you edit them polish them up to make them look like something that's where the the beauty is the magic is so that being said um today is officially the day one of me trying to get this book finished in two weeks. Two Fridays from now, it's Monday. We are gonna see Monday to Friday, how much can I get done? And this isn't a lofty goal where I feel like, oh, this is just so extreme, it'll never get done. And I'm not like psyching myself up, like at least if you just say two weeks, you can get it done and then you'll be okay. No, I feel like with this book, I can have it done in two weeks. And so, um, 
what I will say is what, what issue I might run into is that some of the um, pieces that are not fleshed out fully that I, I, I still need to kind of sit with them and come up with like maybe four or five events, be it a barbecue, be it a basketball game, be it, you know, out at a diner. I need to figure that out first, plug those things in so that I can then have the characters. I can flesh those out a bit more, but all in all, I'm happy with where I'm at. I got that.